This video is brought to you today by Ghost Tags. This is my own company that I started because I wanted a glow in the dark air tag case. These things are awesome. You can stick them on your backpack, on your dog's collar, and you will be able to find it at night. We've got two colors, blue and green. They've got great reviews. Go check them out. Links to them down below. Now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, we're gonna quickly go over iOS 17 beta 4. I'm gonna make this short and sweet. So let's get right into this. First off, it came in at 1.36 gigabytes, pretty big for a update, but this fixed a ton of bugs, which we will go over here just in a minute. If you're curious what the build number is, there it is, it ends in an H. So we still have a ways to go with iOS 17, but we are making some progress. So I'm gonna structure this video first with the newest features, then the bug fixes, then the current bugs, and then the battery and performance. So let's start with the new features. There are not many. So the first one here, if you go into settings, scroll down to general, click on airdrop, you'll see right here that you have a new toggle for bringing devices together. You can turn that off. If you're tired of, you know, putting two phones together and having that animation show up, you can toggle it off. Very simple, but very nice to have. Next up, if you want to send a photo now, it no longer shows the last photo right there. It's actually just the photos icon. And you can see all of these icons change just a little bit for the most part. Uh, and if you go to more, you can see even more of them changed. Uh, they look, especially like the app store right there. It's a circle instead of like an oval pill shape. So they've changed this up just a bit. Um, and that's what it looks like now. So they made a couple more changes to this. It might even change a little bit more before the final release. And the last thing I wanna show you guys is that this home screen and app library icon changed. That's it. Those are all the new features. If you care about just those, then you can turn off the video, but I'm gonna talk about some of the bug fixes first. One of the biggest ones was the typing glitch. So if you were typing something, the keyboard would just disappear sometimes. And sometimes it wouldn't even come back. That was probably one of the biggest bugs with iOS 17. It is now fixed in every single app that I've tried. iMessage, Telegram's even fixed. And Telegram didn't even release an update. So this was on Apple's side. So it should be fixed across the board. You shouldn't have to worry about that. Now, one huge bug that I did encounter was the day before this beta 4 released. Uh, overnight, my phone completely crapped out. Icons were disappearing. Uh, I thought I had malware or something. Turns out, I think it was syncing a ton of iCloud photos or something. I'm not entirely sure, but something was going on. It could have been beta related, could have been something else, but I just wanted to throw that in there that I had a catastrophic failure of my phone. I had to reboot it over five times just to get it to start working again. Everything was messed up. Like in control center here, these buttons were all mismatched. I've never seen anything like it. Um, that's why I really thought I had malware, but uh, there's not malware for iOS 17 beta three. Now, of course there are still some bugs. I've noticed a couple frame rate drops um, doing certain things. Like if you scroll the page really slowly, I can actually see that there's an issue with um, the 120 Hertz. It like drops down to like 30 or 60, looks kind of janky, but overall there's no major issues with this beta version that I have used yet. Uh, so I am thankful for that. Now these upcoming betas, beta five, six, whatever, they're gonna be very minor updates. So if you guys are watching YouTubers videos that are over eight, 10, 20 minutes long, they're literally just dragging the video out to put ads in the middle. If they hit that eight minute mark, they get to put an extra ad. If you wanna see the videos that are quick, short to the point, subscribe here. So anyways, that's it. Let me know down below what your experiences have been with beta four so far. Have you updated? Uh, battery life so far has been great. My phone is not nearly as hot. So every single beta, it's gotten cooler and cooler. So battery life has gotten better and better, as you might imagine. Performance has been great. Besides that little stuttering issue, sometimes with the uh, 120 Hertz, I think it's just a very minor visual glitch, but performance itself has been rock solid. If you like the video guys, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.